Today is October 27th. Today's quote is entitled, The Power of Remorse. In the Gita, 930, Krishna says, My devotee is a sadhu even if he falls. Why? It is because of his remorse. You probably know the verse. We've talked about it a lot of times. It's such an important verse. Even if my devotee commits some abomination, he's considered a sadhu because he's rightly situated. Why is someone considered a sadhu if they do something horrible? It's because of their remorse. It's because they realize it's bad and they want to correct it. Now, if we do something that's wrong, and number one, we don't admit it, or number two, we, we do admit it, but we're not remorse, remorseful, or number three, we admit it, we're remorseful, but we don't do anything to correct it, then by this definition, we would not be considered a sadhu. So the redeeming quality of a devotee is not necessarily in every situation his ability to follow perfectly, but it's his desire to follow perfectly even when sometimes he can't follow perfectly. And this is really important. Because a lot of times, due to our conditioning, we slip. We don't act perfectly. And then we berate ourselves. But if our desire is to act perfectly, if we're remorseful and we're trying to rectify ourselves, in other words, again, we're trying, even though maybe I think I'm going to fail, but at least I'm willing to try, then Krishna says... You are a sadhu. That's the qualification. So now let's, let's take a practical example. Sometimes we see a devotee slips. They break one of the principles or they, they do something against the order of their guru. Naturally, you'll feel bad and in some cases you can feel like giving up. But how should we think? How should a devotee think? A devotee should think, okay, I wasn't able to follow this principle, but I want to follow the principle. I feel bad that I haven't followed the principle. I want to get it back up on my feet and I want to do it. Maybe it even means I may not be able to do it today. I am so fallen or so in such a bad state that I don't even know if I can do it today, but I want to do it today and I want to try to do it or I want to try to do it as soon as I can. I'm going to work on it. I know what the goal is. What's the opposite of that? Well, sometimes we fall and slip and then we rationalize the goal and say, well, it's really too hard for an average person. And I don't think really devotees are following it, this principle. I think they're actually not following it, but they're pretending in public to be following it. I don't think really this is a principle that anyone in the West can follow. And so we try to rationalize it, like nobody can follow it. And, and that means what I did wasn't really bad. And also... I don't have to improve because, in fact, nobody's really following anyway. That is not right. The attitude Prabhupada wants us to have is, okay, I understand this is the standard. I understand I failed. I want to reach that standard. That's my desire. That's my goal. I want to work on that. I don't want to rationalize that I can't do it. I shouldn't do it. This is what I want. Maybe, as I said, I can't do it right away but it's what I want. And when Krishna sees that, he says, yes, that, that devotee is a sadhu because his heart is in the right place. His body and mind may not be there yet, but his heart is in the right place, and that's what qualifies him in Krishna's mind to be a sadhu. So this is really important, especially for devotees who tend to beat themselves up or get discouraged when they don't make the mark. Krishna wants to see that the mark that you missed is the mark you want to make and then you're willing to try again and you're, you're remorseful about it and you're going to make your best effort. That's what he wants to see. Maybe you won't be perfect. All right, don't beat yourself up. Be encouraged by the fact that you want to achieve that goal, that you're sincerely trying. And, that, and if you have that attitude, it's guaranteed someday you will be able to do it. Just like we said perhaps a week ago, you have this internal guidance system. And so you're activating this internal guidance system, super soul, by your sincerity. That's how it works. So that's the principle. Remorse, dedication to coming to the standard that I failed to follow, 
And if I do that, I am a sadhu. So all you sadhus out there, don't berate yourself. You're still sadhus even though you fall short of the goal. If you're trying to reach that goal and you don't give up, Krishna is voting for you. He loves you. He's behind you. He's not condemning you. And if he's not condemning you, don't condemn yourself.